prove that the derivative of f of x minus g of x equals the derivative of f of x minus the derivative of g of x, where f and g are both differentiable functions. So this is very similar to the sum rule. This is the difference rule. In fact, the proof is almost identical. So let's go through this, uh, and we're going to do the same thing that we did before with the sum rule. We're going to let, and I will use s of x, uh, denote the difference this time, f of x minus g of x. And now I'm going to go ahead and calculate, using the limit definition of the derivative, what uh, the derivative of s would be. So I guess uh, this would be s prime of x. Okay, And that's going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of s of x plus h minus s of x all over h. Now let's go ahead and plug in for s of x in terms of f and g. So s of x plus h, that's going to be f of x plus h minus g of x plus h. And then this whole thing is going to be minus f of x minus g of x. Okay, so this first thing, that's s of x plus h. The second thing, that's s of x. And all this is over h. Okay, so that's going to equal the limit as h approaches 0 of. Uh, now let's group all of the f of x stuff together. So I'm going to get f of x plus h minus f of x. That's all of the f of x stuff. And I'm going to group all the g of x uh, and x plus h stuff together, except uh, this time I'm going to put a minus sign in between. So if I do that, this will be g of x plus h. And then if I have a minus sign, this minus, when it gets distributed, would make this a plus. But if I have a minus sign out here, that's going to be a minus. Uh, if you need to, go through and distribute this and rearrange it. It should be the same thing as what we have here. I'm just grouping it in this way because I know what's coming here. I want to be able to separate this so that it looks like the derivative of f minus the derivative of g, which I think you can now do. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of, and this is the f of x stuff right here, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h minus the limit as h approaches 0 of g of x plus h minus g of x all over h. And this is the first term is the derivative of f of x minus second term is the derivative of g of x and that's what we were trying to prove.